AM, fueled by Wild Bean Cafe. from nine. Thanks very much for being with us on AM this morning. Te Upukaria Society based in Rarotonga have found an alternative method of tracking turtles in the islands. Facial recognition. Pictures of turtles. I love this. <laughs> the Citizen Science Turtle Monitoring Project uses photos sent in from the public to assist in tracking. And here to tell us more is Project Officer Itirangi Pennycook. Itirangi, thank you so much for joining us from Rarotonga this morning. Oh, we may have lost your no, audio sorry. there. Sorry. No, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Sorry, I forgot to unmute it. And no problem. It's lovely to, to be able to hear you. Um, so tell us, how does this work? Um, yeah, the whole project works, runs on a system of collecting photographs of the left side of the turtle space. And this is because um, the facial patterns are very unique to each individual, just similar to um, human fingerprints. And so we check it through our software and then from the software called I3S Intelligence, we're able to differentiate between recognized individuals or we're able to identify new ones. This also um, offers a less intrusive method of tracking the turtles in comparison to the traditional method of clipping on tags. In this way, we know we're not invading their personal space, we're not harming them, et cetera. And so how are you getting the photos? Are you collecting them yourselves or are people doing that for you? Um, occasionally we would go out ourselves. Our last dive was yesterday morning in the Papua Passage located on the south side of the island. Otherwise we have some local community members such as our local dive companies, visiting tourists that um, send it to our Te Pukaria email or they send it to us through Instagram and we're able to put that in with our own database and make those observations. That's so cool. So say you're a Kiwi, you're over in Rarotonga on holiday, you go out and see some turtles, you're able to take, you've got a little underwater camera or something, you take some snaps, they should get in touch with you? Yes, yes, just through our email or through our Instagram. And yeah. what are you hoping to be able to find out about the turtles? Is it for population? Is it about where they're feeding? Or what are the main things you want to know? Um, yeah, just all that general information on their overall behaviour. So from our data at the moment, we've only had this project running for just over a year now. and. Thanks to those local dive companies, community members, passing tourists that have sent us their photos. We've got some dating as far back as 2011. Amazing. And through that, we're able to um, track their behavior. Like for instance, um, CRHB number three, so that's Cook Islands, Rarotonga, Hawksville number three has been first spotted in 2015 on the north side of the island and last spotted last year in 2023 on the south side of the island. Wow. And through all those years, we were able to understand that he's just been going around in circles. They're more <laughs> residential than they are migratory. That is so cool. I love the yeah. idea of facial recognition for turtles. I just want to ask you one very quick thing before we head away. Um, we have heard about Cyclone Nat passing near the Cook Islands. Um, what are you hearing on the ground there? Has it had any impact? Is there any concern about that? Um, at the moment, there's no serious um, impact here on the main island. Um, I've heard, um, I'm just hearing things. I'm not sure if it's accurate yeah. or not, but it's passing through our northern group. Right. Okay. Well, yeah. hopefully everyone there is, is safe and is prepared. Thank you so much for your time this morning. That's Itirangi Pennycook from Te Upukaria Society in Rarotonga. That's pretty fascinating, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I mean, all turtles have got different faces. I just weirdly assumed that they all had the same faces. Same. Yeah. But, 